Okay, I'm gonna review a trade I took today. We had a down day. This is Thursday, November 3rd, 2022. And we had a down day and I actually took a buy and grabbed about 2R from the market. And uh, just looking at it from the movement out of Asia, it was a downtrend uh, right from the beginning of London into New York. And then right in the sort of time window I look for setups is at about the 10 a.m. hour in New York. Price comes down, runs this low, which is this daily candles low <clears throat> from October 17th. And also... Uh, the beginning of a big push up so it was all about just looking and seeing if we were going to get bullish order flow at least for a short term basis coming in and that's exactly what we got so actually let's go to the one minute chart to recap this properly because I was starting looking on the one minute chart and we can see price came down Without, without much momentum, and then started to react off of this level, pushed up here, created some highs, and then here we got a pretty aggressive push at this candle here. However, I normally would mark out the gap and enter but I did not like entering so close to the top of the range here. Um, and I, so I thought, okay, I could either enter here on a complete gap fill, but what I ended up doing was just going to the two minute chart. And actually on the two minute chart, it just looked a lot clearer. So you can see that the one minute gap turned into a two minute gap. And that is where I placed my order. I had my stop loss below here. This swing low right here. And I liked how this closed above this swing high and the swing high. And then when price came back, I think it was also a three minute gap. I, I'm not sure, let's see. Yeah, so it was also a three minute gap and a three minute chart. So. That's always what I like to see, confluence on multiple time frames there. And then I went for 2R. Normally I go for a little bit higher, but because it was such a counter trend uh, coming off of FOMC yesterday down here, and then this was looking like a continuation day up until this uh, point in time, I didn't want to go past 2R, especially with this level right here. So this is the gap fill here that I was looking at on the, I think it was on the, again, on every time frame, five minute, 15 minute, had it, as well as the hourly, which is the one I look at um, most closely. So I actually just mark out on the hourly close enough. Uh, this gap here, and that is why I targeted it. 2R. So it was something like this. And it was a perfect exit. Price uh, consolidated here and then retraced significantly. Yeah? And then it eventually made a new low on the day. So that was it today. That was the only trade I took. It's the only opportunity I saw. Yesterday I said I, even though I was bearish, I would take a setup such as this uh, for a buy if the rules were met, which is we got the higher time frame. Actually, it doesn't always have to be higher time frame, but we got a logical liquidity grab here. And we saw momentum back up off of the daily level and just buying a retest, targeting the next logical area. We also had this trend line here this trend line liquidity so all in all pretty straightforward trade um 
I did notice a nice setup in the afternoon that I just wasn't paying attention to on the chart, but it was a simple supply. I think was it 15 minute? No, it was five minute. It was basically this area that rejected here. Um, very clean. This could have been a trade here. A quick little scalp, but clearly it had no heat and it just kept running. So that could have been a big one, but didn't catch it. But I got my 2R and I'm happy. And that is it for today. Looking ahead into tomorrow, I probably won't be trading as it's non-farm payroll, but we'll see if there's something really clean following non-farm payroll. I'll definitely take it. I don't like to write off the entire day, but certainly around the announcement, I will not take a, a trade. I usually don't trade that early anyway. But anyway, looking at the daily chart now, let's just remove this. Well, let's just see how the week might shake up. So yeah, week, we're gonna see if the bulls can save this week. Um, I'll just keep an eye on that level there. It did kind of move impulsively, impulsively below the previous week low. So maybe a short up in the upper areas of this range here. Um, now there is a gap here that if it reached up this high, that would be also an idea, um, something I'd be interested in. Actually, I like that. I'll keep an eye on this. There's also an untapped Asian high from Thursday. So the market likes to go back to those areas I found, kind of like here rips higher kind of like here where it comes up to take the asia high here so on friday i'll just look and see yeah maybe we'll get a maybe we'll get some sort of buy up into it or most likely price will rally up into it uh, form sort of some sort of reversal pattern and then perhaps sell off to make new lows uh, on the week but it doesn't even have to do that i think I wouldn't take more than a two R trade again. Just finish the week on a good note. All in all, it's been a quiet week, but uh, we're in the green, so that's always a good thing. So that's it for today, and uh, we'll see what happens.